How do you handle your sales online? Um, people have called. They either Venmo or PayPal. Okay. And I, I mail it out. Okay. I was just curious because without the website, you, I didn't know if you had a cart somewhere that you referred people to or if you were just no, doing it on your own. Just, just on my own. But again, that is definitely in the plans yeah. of, of trying to get, get all that done too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've been messing around with recently is actually just using um, uh, Facebook Marketplace because it has shipping now. Like they pay oh, for shipping. It? Yeah, okay. you can actually have people Seriously. pay for. Yeah, you go in there and you just put in like what the the weight of it is, and people can buy it. And then when they they can buy it anywhere, so it actually has. It's not just local anymore, and you can uh, oh, wow. people can buy it, pay for the shipping, and all that straight through there. And it connects to whatever either bank account or PayPal that you hook up to Facebook and, and you can even send people to that particular posting that you have listed and you can put, yeah, you can do as many, like I have 20 of these or I have one of them or do them individually okay. and people can find it accidentally, you know, just by looking on there saying I'm looking for artwork. It's so that's something I've wow. been messing with. And I, I haven't thought of using marketplace as a, a place for artwork. I've, I have bought things off Marketplace. In fact, when I was kind of had a new plan for the studio, I um, found a big tool chest that I was able to pick up for a really good price. And my, um, and then I found a couple of huge flat file stacks oh. for twenty bucks a twenty bucks a piece that I was so happy to get. <laughs> and and so. Uh, when we eventually leave this place, my movers are not going to be happy. But. <laughs> <laughs>